polish is that the brush is so small, I feel like I'm gonna drop it and I've nearly... Hey there and welcome back to Nail Chronicle. This week I've got this super simple nail art design that you can use the same technique for and just apply it to whatever colour you prefer. So I'm starting out with this dark blue polish from the OPI Hello Kitty collection. Um, I actually have this polish in two different bottles. I've got it in the mini and the big one. Um, so when I got gifted it, I think my partner really liked the big one. So he got, grabbed me a, sorry, he really liked the blue polish. So he also grabbed me a big bottle of it, which is cool because I absolutely love it as well. In the mini, I find it's a little bit uh, sheer and I don't know whether it's just because I'm having trouble picking up on such a small brush. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, do, I had to do three coats for this one, but it's not too bad because it uh, is going on so thinly, it dries really quickly, so I'm not too worried about having to do the extra co coats. The um, biggest thing I have with this nail polish is that the brush is so small, I feel like I'm going to drop it, and I've nearly dropped this brush so many times. And it's not just like the bristles, it's the handle where I'm holding it. It's so tiny, um, it's really cute and I love it, but yeah, it is one of the most scariest nail polish bottles that I've, or nail polish brushes that I've ever used. Um, anyway, so um, for this design, for the main topic of what I'm about to be talking about, I picked two different colours um, and generally I pick one of them as like just a solid nail polish and the other one is either a glitter or a topper depending on what I'm feeling and what I want to do. So for this one I decided to go with the OPI, um, it's like a purple glitter and because it's quite uh, like sparse in terms of the glitter I was able to put it over the top without like obscuring the blue too much but you can still see the blue pretty well. And one of the things I was concerned about when I picked these two colours was would the purple like override it or would it look weird because you get this weird purple over the top of this dark blue. Um, and so I wasn't 100% sure if those were going to work, so I did do a test um, on the piece of paper. After all, I really didn't want to have to redo this again. Um, I want something that's quick and easy and something that I can do in one go and then walk away. And so, um, hence the test piece of paper, just to make sure that it wouldn't clash too much and it looked beautiful on the paper. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is actually going to work and I felt fairly confident with it. Um, so after the three coats of the blue, I then followed that up with the uh, or just one coat of the purple. One or two of my nails, I did a second coat. I just wasn't quite happy with the, happy with the coverage. Um, uh, just the same issue with the uh, blue do I nail polish. I had that issue of it going on really thinly um, and maybe not quite picking up enough polish on the brush itself. Once I was happy with uh, the design and having enough nail polish on there, I just topped it off with normal top coat. I probably could have got away with just the glitter, but I wanted this to last the full week and I didn't want to have to be redoing my nails sooner than I needed to be. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your lazy go-to nail art design is and if you have any other questions or, com or just general comments. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see each other next week. Thank you. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.